Jake. Jake. You read me, Jake. Jake. Yo, 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 what's up people, Tassaran here, welcome back to Open XCOM Terror from the Deep. We are in the middle of nothing, we're not waiting for anything really, other than the usual research and all that lot. It's been uh, a few days or whatnot since I've been on this bad boy, so let's just re-familiarise ourselves with what's going on, because the way I'm doing this, the way because the first one I did like... Because I tend to record my episodes in batches, I record quite a few, blah blah blah, release them. But because we've got a few of you guys with me, your interaction has really helped. So I don't want to do too many and sort of race too far ahead of what you're seeing. Because your comments are really, really helpful. Um, although a lot of them is just, I just want grenades and kill things. You know, I hear you. I'm going to sort that out. Um... So our research is the magnetic iron armor. I'll tell you what, you guys have been so helpful because I do feel like I've already achieved more uh, than I have done previously. Uh, so I've moved all of us to the front of the ship because I felt like a couple of uh, a couple of you guys didn't really get a look in in the last. Uh, mission. Let's just see what we've got. So it's a Smega, Smega the second. Two missions, one kill. Sakosa the third. Two missions, four kills. Hello. You, uh, you mean business. Nick Alderman, four missions, two kills. So we need to get you a few more, and I'm sure with grenades that's going to be possible. Uh, Brian Davis, six missions, six kills. Hello. Hello. Michael Powell, five missions, two kills. Cookie the second. We need to get you up there as well. Uh, one mission, one kill. Awesome. Awesome news. So, we didn't actually leave it where anything was happening. So, let's just move on. Oh, here we go. An enhancement for the ion armor incorporating the magnetic array technology to allow full freedom of movement in the aquatic environment. So this is going to help with how far we can move. It just simply has to. That is awesome. Okay. Allocate research. So. We've got a few options to go with. We can now do the transmission resolver. which then with Zerbite will release alien sub-construction. But I don't want to put rubbishy rubbish on on the alien subs themselves. As in like the Dupheads and the Ajax. So I need to at some point go into the sonic blaster, blaster clip and cannons, cannon power clip, and try and move that along. I am concerned about uh, lobster men, we're going to be seeing them soon. So therefore I think the thermal shock launcher and bomb could be good. Zerbite will release a lot of stuff. Let's. Do Zerbite, and then that should open up in part the alien subconstruction once the resolve is done. But it will do the disruptor pulse launcher and the disruptor pulse ammo. Which I think is pretty good. I'll have to double check all that. Okay, animate allocate manufacturer. Uh, I'm, I've only just put this on really, so we're going to uh, stop production on that. New production. Magnetic iron armour. So it requires loads of plastics. And quite a bit of zerbite. I can make plastics, but I can't make zerbite. I think that's the way it works. So let's start production. 
get everybody involved or I'm like, I can only fit 34 and it's because of the amount <coughs> items require a certain amount of workshop space it's not just one item one workshop when I make an alien sub it's going to take up a lot more space in the thing and that's why uh, I can't get everyone on there and this is gonna cost me a bomb and half bomb and half uh, so that's the workshop space available I'll just do it I think I mean there's what six of us so I shall just make it as if us the six powerhouses um, have them I don't know it depends we've got no money at all how is our secondary because I want them this to have um, its own manufacturing thing we've got no money and now because I'm doing that I haven't got any anything <laughs> how far until oh it's only the ninth So I'm not going to be able to make all of these anyway. So what we need is a mission. Okay, bolts, die grenades, thermal tasers, and chemical flares. Uh, okay. We have contact. Barcuda 4. It was only small, hopefully doable. Continue, please. Uh, standard if you would is he going to completely destroy it downed perfect and if we get on that ASAP uh, bases equip marine okay so now everybody Possible can have a taser. That'll do. And it looks like should be a day mission. Sweet. Okay, smeg cake, you're looking good there, son. It is a daytime mission, so we don't have to worry too much about chemical flares. However, I do want everyone to be topped up. And you're going to need that in the hand. Sikosa, you beast. You absolute beast. I think you're absolutely fine. Let's give you another die grenade hook you up and uh, Nick Alderman you know you love your your grenades uh, but you can carry it absolute oh, perfect perfect uh, you've only got room for one what a pal live the dream cookie I want you to have a taser in the end You can go for some more weight. Good old Drake. Drake has been an absolute hero. Uh, Ripley can keep the grenade. Where's Basky? Go for the stun. Bishop. Gorman. I mean, it would be easier to figure this out really
if I knew who had the better throwing accuracy. <laughs> but, and I'll put Crow right to the back because he's our lieutenant. I don't want anything to happen to him. Okay, what are we going to be up against? Your guess is as good as mine. Prime it. Okay, we got the alien ship straight away, so we know where that is. We got an edge. God, nowhere near the edge that way. The edge is just there. Okay, luckily we've got uh, cover from this, so we can actually exit the craft. Let's get Nick just to. Give us a bit of a look-see first. Then go back in. to a crouch <laughs> not enough time units okay we'll sort you out next go then it's a cruiser Bring you to the front and prime you. And we're going to prime yours. Okay, I want to. I want to get a grenade round there just to cover. My bases really, because anything hiding behind there. Did that land on the rock? Right. Really, Sakosa should be primed. It is glorious. How far can you go? Happy days. Okay, Smega, move up. Let's get Sokoza safe. All right then. Okay, that changes things. I don't know if the pistols are going to be sufficient. Sonic pulsars, definitely not. Thermal tasers are going to be an absolute struggle just to have the time units because you probably need to do a couple. Get that out of your hand, and I want you. 
I'm worried they've got grenades now. Because we've been doing so well. Oh no. I'm concerned. I don't want to bring anyone else out. I mean, Nick, we can move you out of the way. Drake, don't think you can, Michael, aha, okay, doable, then get back in I think. I'm worried they've got a grenade or something. Okay, hopefully that loosened a nut or something on its armour. But really what I need is Drake's power. I mean, Sikosa's got the power as well. And you can see two there. Snapshot is 24. Certainly going to get their attention. No, not far enough. It's awkward because I need to be able to get back. No, you've got to do better. Get it over there. No, nope. but at least you're ready. At risk out there. And not you want cookie. I think that's all you guys out. Yeah. Okay, who took a shot? mega but he's okay so well that was some of the worst shooting in history wasn't it
Okay, these shots are bad. Uh, all you've done there is just caned your own cover. So, well done you. Even Drake's missing. What's happening? Nick. What can you do? Why? Oh, there's a fucking... Oh, no. It's not safe, that side. No! I wanted you to move. <laughs> Fuck! Oh, shit. Will it land this one? She ain't got space in her hand. Everybody's got something in their fucking hands. It's not on that one. Right, is that okay now it's in my hand? Or is it going to blow up in my hand? But that was just fucking awful. Oh, you hit. That's, uh... That's the long and short of it. You did hit. Oh, just oh, now I've got now I've got a grouping of people just itching for a grenade. Okay, Smega is definitely taking a hit now. Two fatal wounds, 17 health left. So, I know for a fact, Nick. Uh, so my wound is on that, is it? So heal. That's the two fatal wounds. The two fatal wounds was in my thing, so. I guess that's it. So it's get, put me back up to 23, but now I've got no fatal wounds. So, glorious. And I'm assuming I can continue to use the medikit and uh, live the dream, I guess. Finally, okay, we got ourselves a kill. Now, do I grab the corpse and bolt? Something has been rendered unconscious over there. Okay, that's interesting. I still need to be careful. I've still got something over there. Uh, cookie. Sort of remnants of some kind of cover. need to push this way as well so get Brian to check over there as much as I can hope for Drake to go with because he's not going to be useful once inside the craft uh, Ripley Bear in mind, she's got the primed grenade. Just 
case anything comes out the back. Let's see what that does for us. <gasps> nice. Okay, we destroyed the corpse. Okay, it might be time to give up the gas cannons. Oh, come on, Cookie. I want to get you a kill. It was a hit. Not enough time units, so just duck. Hope for the best. Let's get Sakosa to duck as well. See, I don't know. Can do I just? do anything? Nope, still 23. So I don't know. Don't know what's happening there at all. Um, good shot. Hudson, do you think you can do better? Oh. Oh. Out of nowhere. What happened there? Right. And we did get... I think there was a shot from in here. Or it could have been around this way. Oh, wow. Uh, we'll play it safe, Brian. We're going to bring you back. We all know it's not enough to... Uh, Oh, you've seen something else. Oh! Boom! Completely forgot you were up there, dude. But you are just... Well done, Michael Powell. Great shot. Um, I don't think I can do anything with the one inside, though. I'm a little bit fucking nervous this way as well. I would kind of like to keep you up there, but I am... Obviously running a risk. Ok, 
I see no reason why you can't keep going. You can actually see from there, can you? You don't get to shoot anything with that coral in the way. It's like because he's in there, I can't come round to like flank this lobster man. I think with everything that's in the way, I think Brian's safe to go. Oh. Yeah, but you won't shoot it, will you? Oh, you will. Oh, fair enough. Have a go then. Oh. Enough time in it. It barely moved. Okay, Nick. Oh no, I've... Nick's run out of grenades. But since when? Uh, I'm just going to need you to get into some sort of space of some kind. Move Smegger up. Dark. If you can dark. Yeah. You definitely should dark. Okay, Sikosa. At the very least keep an eye on that door. You come with you better duck. I think he's going to get me soon. Now he is. Don't forget lobster men can melee as well. Okay, so got one on view. Brian. That is helpful. Okay. So let's see if we can concentrate on Rippers. Uh, so you can make it there, go on then. Okay, finally dropped him, so confident that is the same one as before, Nick. Cookie. actually go in there so it's just I mean really can't even shoot in there if I'm in front of the door I 
far too risky keeping you up there. Is that one Nick? No. That one's Nick. Hey Nick, I got you a grenade, son. Oh yeah. I don't know how many more there can possibly be. So Cozy, you can't really engage. See one? Am I being blind? Where? Oh, there. Well, that sucks. Come out. So they can get me there. They're clearly going to have enough time units to run up and slap me. Excellent. Oh, thank you. Okay, finally. Finally have a good rating. It actually went well. Brilliant. So we got seven, five corpses recovered because unfortunately I destroyed some. So we need that money. Plenty of stats for our main guys. We've all got a little something, something, including accuracy and uh, and of course strength. Time units. That's what I want. Time units. I want to be able to do something. So. Okay, that's fine. Five sex. And let's go ahead and sell some stuff because without it, we can't continue to make our iron armor, which we've only got one, but 115,000 each. I'll have to see how much they cost to make, but of course, they also take the materials, don't they? Uh, let's sell a pitiful four corpses. Pitiful. All these are 304. We'll get rid of that. Yeah, do that. Then you keep one of those. Blaster rifles. I'm not planning on actually using them. Because as soon as I'm able to use cannons, I'll be using cannons. But to be honest, it's what, two shots? with uh, the pistol can't really argue with that 14 cannons yeah because I'm going to end up with everyone with a cannon so that's perfect okay that's actually give us doing that has actually give us quite a bit of cash the zerbite is still unknown that's fine manufacture iron armor we've produced one we have uh, seven Seven days left. Medium. Airborne. 
Uh, cancel that. Yeah, it has to be Barky 4. But it's overland. And incredibly fast. Okay, we'll keep spinning. Same again. Tracking lost. Something's going on. Uh, return to base. Spin on. Research complete. This is an alloy of alien origin, part gold, part alien biomaterial. When utilized as a power source, small quantities will generate more power than a nuclear unit of 10 times the size. It is beyond our technology ability to replicate this material, as most of its constituents are alien in origin. Okay, that didn't open up shit. So I'm going to do a transmission resolver and then I'm going to be going into the MC lab and all that lot. But perhaps I need to do the lobster man or something. See it doesn't say it on that tree at all. Interesting. Let's go for a save. Because unfortunately, that is all the time I've got for this one. Thanks and all for watching. I do really appreciate it. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I'll see you all in the next one. Jake. Jake.